Health news, the supplement more and more children are taking to fall asleep. Also, a new study on the side effects of Zoom fatigue. But first, Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the results of a study comparing the drugs Munjaro and Ozempic for weight loss, and Frank, one was better than the other. That's right, Kim and Devin. So, in fact, this paper, according to it, basically says, according, and I should say this paper is a preprint and it hasn't been fully reviewed, terzepatide, the active component in Munjaro, was superior to semaglutide, the active component in Ozempic for weight loss. So the study looked at over 41,000 people who were either on semaglutide or terzepatide. And the researchers found at one year, the patients on terzepatide lost 15.2% of their weight, while those that were on semaglutide only lost 7.9%. Incidentally, the rate of side effects was actually similar between both drugs. Now, new research finds giving kids melatonin to help them sleep has actually become exceedingly common, with nearly one in five adolescents now using it. A study was published in JAMA Pediatrics, and it found 6% of children age 1 to 4 and 18% of kids age 5 to 9 are regularly given melatonin by their parents as a sleep aid. Here's the thing. The body naturally produces melatonin. Researchers actually caution there is little research on the long-term safety of melatonin supplement use in kids. In fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that parents talk to their child's pediatrician about any sleep problems before trying melatonin. Mm. Now, finally, a new study found so-called Zoom fatigue is real and it may take a toll on the brain and the heart in an educational setting. The small study looked at students that were attending 50-minute college lectures, half in person, half virtually through video conferencing while they were connected to brain and heart monitors. The brain and heart activity actually showed significantly more evidence for fatigue after virtual lectures. The participants also did surveys that found that they felt drowsy and, quote, fed up while participating <laughs> in the video conferences. Now, the researchers actually concluded that video conferences should complement face-to-face interaction, oh, but not no. be a substitute for it. I can only theorize that the problem here is that you feel you're being watched, because otherwise it's just like watching television. That's, I mean, a, that's a very interesting but, point. But you know you're being you're seen. Right. And you have yeah. to... The stress levels might be different under that circumstance. Good point. If I knew I was being watched, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good, thing, good thing nobody knows. Yep. All right, Doc. Thanks, Doc.